Yeah. Okay. So, yes, you can, but we've started the video. Close it after this video. Okay. Everybody's seen that now. Right. Um, okay, so we're doing the sum as R oh, goes from N to 2N. Shh, James. Okay. Now, think what, what, what this means as we do the sum from N to 2N. Uh, it's, it's like doing the sum all the way from 1 up to 2N. But then we need to take some of it away. And the bit that we need to take away is we're starting at n. So we need to take away all the stuff that came before n. So that's going from 1 to n minus 1 oh. in that bit. Oh, my dear. Why is so, it n minus 1, not n? Because <laughs> that starts at n. So it goes up to n minus 1. So now we just stick that into the formula, which we have learned. Oh, it's in the formula booklet, isn't it? Which is one quarter n squared, so that's two n squared, and then it's n, n plus one, so it's two n plus one. Sorry, I forgot the formula for a moment. It is in the formula book. Um, and then we're going to subtract the bit that goes from one to n minus one. That will be one quarter n squared, but the n in this case is n minus 1, so it's n minus 1 squared. And then the n plus 1 bit in this context is n plus 1. It's, it's n not. minus 1 plus 1, isn't it? It's n minus 1 plus 1 squared. Does that make sense? Which is just n. So we've got, well, let's, let's simplify this a little bit. We've got a quarter times 2n squared which is n squared times 2n plus 1 squared. And here we've got a quarter. Now this bit here is n squared. And then we've got n minus 1 squared from that bracket. And we know where we're heading with this, so let's start taking out some common factors now. We've got a common factor of n squared. We're going to have that in the end, so that's good that we've got that there. We've got a common factor of a quarter that we're going to take out, because we need that at the end as well which gives us four lots of 2n plus 1 squared in that first term. And here we've got n minus 1 squared. There's nothing for it but for in that squared bracket just to multiply everything out and collect everything together. So we've got four lots of 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. Take away n squared minus 2n plus 1. So my square bracket that I'm trying to tidy up is six. Oh, I'm right. Sixteen n squared plus sixteen n plus four minus n squared plus two n minus one because I'm being careful about the brackets in there. And it's one quarter n squared. In here we have fifteen n squared plus eighteen n plus 3, at which point we observe we've got a common factor of 3, which we're going to bring out. And then we're not going to waste too much time factorising that because we're convinced we've done it right because we're very good. And it was supposed to be n plus 1, 5n plus 1, so we're going to write it as being Sorry, the ball just uh, lost its way a little bit. Come on. Uh, what did I just say? n plus 1 times 5n plus 1. And we check it. 5n squared plus n plus 5n is 6n plus 1. Yes. So that was it. It was. It all hinged on. It completely all hinged on getting n minus 1 up there. And getting the brackets in the right place, and then dealing with the minus signs and all of that stuff. Right, hence find this expression, giving your answer in a fully factorised form. Look, we're being really careful to read these properly, so we notice the n and the 2n there, and we notice we've still got n to 2n at the bottom there. So we're going to be careful with that. So this new expression, r brackets r squared minus 2.
What was we just saying? R squared brackets R minus two. Yeah. R, R brackets R squared. R squared minus two. As R goes from n to two n. Okay. So uh, the first bit. Actually, many of you did this right, uh, multiplying it out and recognising it as r cubed minus twice the sum of r as r goes from n to 2n. But then a few of us made the same mistake again with this, the second bit. The first bit is straightforward, isn't it? The first bit is 3 quarters, we now know this, m squared, m plus 1, 5n plus 1, because that's what we found in part 1. Oh. Um, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same thing. That's why it was a hence. And the second bit is going to be twice now. This is the sum from n to 2n. So once again, we need to do the sum from 1 to 2n. Take away the sum from 1 to n minus 1. So the same thing happens again. We have to do that new sum which is 3 quarters n squared n plus 1, 5n plus 1, take away twice, and this is a half n n plus 1, isn't it? So it's half times n, which is now 2n, times n plus 1, which is 2n plus 1, and we're subtracting, going up to n minus 1, so that's a half n n plus 1 becomes a half n minus 1 n in there. So again, we've now got three terms to try and factorise as best we can. Let's write them as simply as we can first. Uh, what have we got here? The, the 2 cancels with that. So we've got minus 2 n brackets 2 n plus 1. And then we've got plus n n minus 1, because it's minus 2 times the minus a half gives us plus 4 n n minus 1. We've got a common factor of n. What did I have to get to? It didn't tell me what I was going to this time, did it? We've got a common factor of n. Um, coming out of that. Oh, I did a bit more with this. Oh, th that would have been easier. Oh, man. Um, Can I, oh, can I go back a line? I think I've been a bit too hasty in getting rid of those big brackets here. Because I'd like, I'd like to do, have them a bit longer. Is that all right? <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, I, we could carry on. You just, it's just a slightly messy factorisation. Do you want just to carry on? Now scribble it out now. Oh. Oh. Because look, inside that bracket, we get minus 2 times. If we multiply this out, we've got um, 2n squared plus n from that one. And from this one, we're taking away a half n squared plus a half n in, inside there. which is 3 quarters n squared n plus 1, 5n plus 1, minus 2 lots of um, 3 over 2 n squared plus 3 over 2 n. Which is really neat, isn't it? Because that all factorises really nicely now. Um, get rid of the 2, and we've got a common factor of 3n, bracket n plus 1, out of that. Now I want to factorise the whole thing, so I'm going to take 3 quarters n, n plus 1 as my factor. Which gives me n times 5n plus 1 in the first term. And it gives me 4 for the second term. Which is 
three quarters n, n plus one, five n squared plus n minus four. Or three quarters n, n plus one, five n, n, what must it be? Um, a one there and a minus four there. Is that right? Five n squared plus five and minus four is n minus four. So the answer at the end of all of that is three quarters n, n plus one squared times five n minus four. And uh, how much factorizing is the Therefore, they wanted that. They wanted three quarters n, n plus one squared, five n minus four, for five marks. So easy. Mm. It was all about the n minus one, wasn't it? That all, all the way through.